Welcome to the AT&T Post Game Show. We are moments away from the trophy presentations as champions of the National Football Conference, the Chicago Bears, 21 years after last appearing in the Super Bowl, are back there as champions of the NFC. It should be a big-time celebration to Howie Long and Jimmy Johnson. As we take a look on the podium is our own Terry Bradshaw, ready to hand the George Hallis Trophy to the team that George Hallis founded as champions of the NFC. Terry. All right, thank you, Kurt. I tell you what, it, it may be snowing in Chicago, Ms. McCaskey, but it's, it's sunny right now. Don't you agree? It's beautiful. It's let, beautiful. Let me do this. Let me present you with the NFC trophy named after your father, George S. Hallis Trophy, emblematic of the National Football Conference champion of the great city of Chicago. Congratulations. And to present the trophy to you, Hall of Fame, great running back for the Dallas Cowboys, Tony Dorsett. Tony, would you like to pick this up? There you are. Hand it over to Mrs. McCaskey. McCaskey. I don't know if we're going to give this to you. Um, Mrs. McCaskey and family, I'd like to congratulate the Bears on their victory today against the, the New Orleans Saints. They were stubborn, but you guys pulled it out. And on behalf of the NFC, I would like to say that it's a fitting tribute to be presenting this award to you that bears the name of the original founder of the Chicago Bears, the Torres House Trophy, which goes to the champion of the NFC annually. Again, congratulations to you, your family, and Lovey Smith and the staff. Congratulations. Here, let, think, hold it for it, Tony. You hold it. Got to be a special day, right, Mrs. McCaskey? Oh. Special day so far. Right, congratulations. <laughs> Have fun down in Miami. Lovey Smith. Coach Lovey Smith. Well, you started preaching at the beginning of the season. It's all about going to Super Bowl 41. And you always preach, Lovey, turnovers. And today, certainly, turnovers mark victory for the Bears. Yes, that was definitely the case. Our players have played extremely hard all year. They've done everything we've asked them to do. We had one goal in mind. And, Terry, now we're one game away. Okay, I saw tears on the sideline. Is that right? Well, there's definitely joy on the sideline. There's no feeling like it. I'm going to ask you, Coach, this has to be a special moment for you to be the first African American coach to coach in the Super Bowl. Can you express to, in words what that means to you? It's hard to say, but I, I, we've been blessed. And I realize the position we're in, thanks to the guys for just getting us in the chain of position where we can do it. Congratulations, Coach. We'll see you in Miami. Thank you. Rex Grossman. What's up? Come up here, Rex. I'll listen to them. They're loving you now. Yeah. Huh? I saw you when the game expired throw that football up into the middle of the stand. Is that just says, oh, God, thank God I am finally got the big one and I'm heading down to the Super Bowl. Oh, I know. We had a great game today. We got one more game to go. This is great and all, but we got one more game to go. Let me ask you. I thought in the second half they had to get you involved in this game. They could not win this game without you throwing the football in the second half. And four for four, 78 yards on that one drive after the safety. That, my friend, was what this game was all about. Yeah, you know, I was a little conservative in the first half. You know, didn't want to make the mistake. And then we needed to play, and, you know, we, we just, uh, you know, receivers came up big, line blocked well, and, and Bernard made a huge play at the end of that drive. Enjoy yourself. We'll see you down in Miami. Appreciate it. Rex Grossman. And then Brian Urlacher. Hop in there, big guy. Hold it up high. Now, one, one little question. Howie Long wanted me to ask you, was, was that Bush guy that fast? We thought you were going to catch him. All right. He's fast. Um, not fast enough, but we got the job done today. We're excited for our fans. There's always, and I think the fans here at Soldier Field understand this, it seems like we can always point to one play that may have turned this around. The Saints got within two points, but then the safety that gave you the four-point lead, you guys never look back. Yeah, our defensive line got pressure like we do all season long. Uh, this is a great play for our team. I'm so excited happy for my teammates and our head coach. Okay. Why don't you do this, Brian Urlacher? Pick that trophy up. Take it to your teammates. Take it around Soldier Field. Congratulations, Chicago. You're going to Super Bowl 41 in Miami. Kirk Menifee, take it away. All right. Thanks a lot, TB. And the celebration is just beginning right here at Soldier Field. And something tells me it'll be going on all night on Rush Street as well. The Chicago Bears 
get the victory 39 to 14 to advance to Super Bowl 41. Much more to come right here from Soldier Field, including more player interviews with the victorious Chicago Bears, more analysis from Holly Long and Jimmy Johnson, plus a whole lot more as we continue to celebrate the Bears going to the Super Bowl.